हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे बाय द कॉजलेस मर्सी ऑफ श्री गुरुदेव हल्ला मत करो बाय द कॉजलेस मर्सी ऑफ श्री गुरुदेव बाय परफॉर्मिंग ब्रजमंडल परिक्रमा अंडर गाइडेंस ऑफ द वैष्णव we came in is such a wonderful and very beautiful place which is known by the name kammevan very prominent amongst the dwadash 12 forest 12 ones of raj kammevan which was established by a great king called kamsen just like when we go navdi parikrama we go the place called samudragad and the king of that place was samudra sen therefore here when kam kamme one the king who established this means the king of this territory his name was kam sen generally the term kam is considered to be a material term but it also has some other very high meanings <coughs> as Shri Guru Dev, whenever he used to come, he said, "Be careful while performing Kamme One Pai Krama, because this is a place where all the Kam means all the desires get fulfilled. So many people come here for many desires. Anek lokeer vancha, anek prakar. Many people have many kind of desires. Devotees have many kind of desires. But be careful. <coughs> What desires in your heart? What is your intent?" performing this parikrama <clears throat> be very careful and set up that goal for which you are here <clears throat> because all the desires get fulfilled here but what should be our desire if there is any desire to gratify our senses to enjoy this material world even the desire to get mukti and moksha that going to be atmindi priti vancha tate bole kam that is our self interest self intent to gratify our senses but we are not here for this reason under guidance of gurudev under his instructions and with the association of the vaishnav sadhus here we are here for krishna indi priti vancha hare prem naam we are here to gratify the senses to become instrument to serve the senses of krishna and not only krishna the sense of radha and krishna together therefore anything any parikrama any mood any emotion which is there to fulfill the desires means to serve the senses of radha and krishna dhare prem naam how we can reconcile this that kaam and prem they are one thing is not one प्रेम निर्मल भास्कर कहा से शुरू होता है काम अंधकार काम अंधतम प्रेम निर्मल भास्कर नहीं नहीं प्रेम निर्मल भास्कर नहीं नहीं सो एनी एनी मटेरियल डिजायर इस काम विच इज अंधतम इन डार्कनेस बट प्रेम निर्मल भास्कर प्रेम इज ए फुल जेंट वेरी शाइनिंग एंड प्योर like sun how we reconcile that kaam and prem is one and the same thing premev goparamnyam kaamme ati agma pratham iti uddhav adho vanchanti bhagavat priya gopyad kaamo bhaya kamso desh chedde adi nirpa shrimad bhagavatam describe there are different personalities who serve krishna or attain krishna with their different moods gopyad kaamo gopis they attain krishna or with they serve they please krishna with kaam kaam here doesn't mean lust kaam here means pure love because premeva goparamnam kaam me ati agmar patam kaam is the emotion means that that lust which is not in a mood of ignorance that lust that lust means that desires that intend to serve krishna the senses of krishna in in pure form is known as prem 
So this is the forest, Kamya Van, where all the desires of Krishna get fulfilled by not only the Braj Gopis, but also by the Sakhas of Krishna. The intent of all activities is only to please Krishna, whatever please to Krishna. Even if you are happy by disregarding us, by not even extending your darshan to us, we are happy with that. Or if you want to get pleased by extending your darshan to us, we are happy with that. As Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Ashlishya va padaratam pinashtumam, mama darshan hat va karotu va. Yatha tatha vividhato lampato, mat pranatha stu evanapara. Mat pranatha, you always be my beloved forever, no matter if you hurt me or if you give me your love. So, this is the highest limit of prem. That's the intent of all the Brajavasis, especially Brajagopis. So, in Kamyavan, there are so many pastimes. Srila Gurudev used to describe how Brajagopis they used to serve Krishna and having a amorous pastime with Krishna. In fact, Krishna was serving Braj Gopis here. But also this place where we came here, this place is called Bhojanthali. Just now we went there to have darshan of this beautiful shila, a rock which is melted. As when Krishna also, when we came from Govardhan, it took us one hour coming from Govardhan. When Krishna lifted Govardhan, she Govardhan was also shaking and shivering, getting, getting so much romance, uh, transcendental emotions. So all the, uh, this Govardhan, but not only Govardhan, even the trees, creepers, plants, and even flowers, and even ordinary rocks, they feel emotions by getting touch of the lotus feet of Krishna. Or when they have any desire to serve Krishna, this also shows they are always ready to serve Krishna. There are six seasons in India, six seasons. Ah. Grishma, Sharad, Hemant, Vasant, these are six seasons which comes every two months. But when Krishna, whatever he wants to enjoy, that particular season comes to make a very favorable situations for Krishna to enjoy. Just like if Krishna wants to take bath, then Grishma Ritu, summer season comes because it's very nice to take shower in summers. When Krishna wants to eat, then Sharad, mean winter comes because in winter one feels like to have hot meal. So, when Krishna wants to go out in the forest, especially here in Kamevan, then Hemant, Vasant, all this season comes which are favorable with the mood of serving Krishna. Similarly, the stones also, the shilas also, they are always ready to serve Krishna. Krishna comes with all his sakhas, bringing the food stuff from given by their respected mothers. Yashoda Mai also used to give so much to Krishna. And when they used to come, they used to have one vihar, means they used to come in forest to have their what picnic, very nice picnic. And everyone, they open their own boxes or portly, that cloth, where their respected mothers have given their food. When they open that, Krishna's Sakhas are wondering, Krishna, how are we going to eat? There are no leaf plates here. Seeing that what Krishna wants to eat, how he wants to eat, the stone get melt and make a shape of a plate and even bowls. So, Sakhas, especially Madhu Mangal, Sridam, Subal, Lavanga, Stot, Krishna, Arjun, all these Sakhas, when they sit together, the amazing fact is, whenever Krishna is sitting and facing all the Sakhas, not only those Sakhas are seeing Krishna, but those who are in the side base or even those who are in the back of Krishna, they can also see that Krishna is looking at them. So, even the ordinary rocks, all the Shilas, they get melt and they provide all facilities where Krishna can also enjoy his, what, bhojan vilas, his eating, his eating, his picnic with all the suckers. This, these are the evidence in Braj Mandal, all these places. We are also going to go in that uh, Pichal Shila, where Krishna used to slide with his suckers. 
So all these places, all this Braj Mandal, all these places, they provide a very conducive, very favorable situation for Krishna to enjoy, to play with his Sakhas. Ah, this shows everyone is there to serve Krishna, to serve the emotion of Krishna. We are also here in Kamevan with Kamna, which is established by our Acharyas. As Sri Ambrish Mara said, Kame Chadase Natu Anne Kama Kamae. He is performing all the service to the Lord with all his senses. Save Mana Krishna Padar Vindaya Vachan Shi Vakunt Gunan Varnai. He is engaging his mind in absorption of Krishna. He was engaging his tongue in the glorifying Krishna and all his senses. But with what intent? That is most important. Many devotees doing parikrama for what intent? There are many, many uh, moods and many, many intents behind that. Some, some are here for some business. Some are here to get married. Some are here to get pratishta. Gurudev said, this is not a marriage bureau. I brought all of you from all over the world, not to make you get married here, but to <laughs> marriage ceremony, but to inspire you in your heart, the mood of renunciation. The mood of renunciation is very important in life, not only for brahmacharis, not only for sannyasis, but also for grastas. Very important. And if you believe or not, if you are liking or not, everyone loves to have renunciation and everyone should have renunciation. How everyone loves to have renunciation? I am not saying this, so please don't take my offense. She, Radha Govind Maharaji, I was hearing one of his lectures, very beautifully he is describing that if you eat a lot, the next day you need to renounce. If you don't renounce next day, you will not feel happy about this. Another example he said, if you go and look for a house and you see very nice living room, very nice bedroom, everything is nice. But if you ask the real estate, the guy there, ah, where is the bathroom, where is the toilet? Oh sir, in this house there is no toilet. Would you like to buy that house where there is no toilet, no bathroom? Not at all. Mara said this is a place of renunciation. <laughs> So without renunciation, you can't, you can't enjoy. So that's another fight. But renunciation is very important. We are here with Sri Ambrish Maharaj. The intent of performing all those practices what? In the last he said, Kame Chadase Natu Anna Kama Kamai. Only to serve Krishna. Krishna in the Priti Vancha Dhore Prem Nam. No other desire should be there. Even when we are in the association of sadhus and we are doing Braj Mandal Parikrama, only with what kamna, with what desire? What is that desire? There are many specific desires then. One is a journal criteria, we should serve Krishna. But then it's getting more and more specific. Srila Gurudev said we have to be very, very specific. What is the specification? What desires? Not only, the, not the desire to serve Krishna. We are here to serve the lotus feet of Sri Radharani under the guidance of Lalita Sakhi and Sri Rupa Manjari. Very specific. Only this path is the most safest and the best path with this desire only. As Maharaj described, we are going to go and see Vyomasur Gufa, the cave of Vyomasur, where Krishna, he killed a great demon Vyomasur, who stole all the Sakhas of Krishna and put in one cave and put one stone there. Krishna came and he hit Vyomasur. And because of the hit of Vyomasur, uh, hit on Vyomasur, and because Vyomasur got killed, the earth sh starts shaking. So, Sri Baldev Prabhu, who is always there to assist in the pastimes of Krishna, Sri Baldev Prabhu put his lotus feet and he controlled the trembling earth with his foot because his Ananta Dev who is holding the earth on his head. Therefore, we are also going to see that. Another pastime which we are going to go, the pastime is there, but because Mara described this here, we are going to go this place where Yaksha, he asked some question to Yudhishthir Maharaj. Long pastime, long story short, because I am going to go the essence of this, where the question was being raised to Bhimsen, and Bhimsen, because he is thinking no one is more powerful than me, he tried to fetch water, but 
he got fainted there. And similarly, Arjun, Nakul and Sedev, everyone. But when Yudhishthir, whose Dharmaraj, when he came there, Yaksh said, I'm going to kill all you also as I made all your brothers fainted here. So you have to answer my questions before you... Ah, if you want to get your brothers, get in consciousness state. So he asked the question. And very important four things. I'm only going to point out one because we have to go up further. Ah. Who is the most happiest person? One who is in, not in foreign land is the most happiest person. So many may, people may think we are in this foreign land. We are in Braj, whereas we are from Delhi, we are from Punjab, we are from many other states, we are from America, Europe, Germany. This is foreign land for us. And our home, our con country home is different. But actually we all are foreigners here. We all are foreigners, no matter Eastern or Western. Because this is not our home. Where is our home? The home, Yad Gatman Arvante Tadham Parmam Padam. Our home is the abode of Krishna, which is our goal. We have to go there to serve Krishna. That's our home. So we are homeless people. <clears throat> I was in Ujim last year and a question was being asked to me. What do you have to say about these homeless people on the street? Because in Ujim you have many, so many homeless people. I said they are not homeless people. They are fake homeless people. So what do you mean by fake homeless people? Are there any bona fide homeless people? I said, yes, of course. These people are fake homeless people because we are ready to supply homes to them. Srila Bhaktidan Swami Maharaj said, I am building a temple where whole world can come and stay. Even if we <coughs> propose to them, come and stay with us, we are going to provide all lodging, accommodation, clothing, fooding, everything. No one is going to come there. They are only happy on the streets. They are not homeless people. But then who is homeless people? We. We who are doing sadhan. We are homeless people. Because we are familiar. What is our home? We are familiar of this fact that our home is not here. Our home is Golagrindavan. We are familiar. And we are doing sadhan under guidance of Gurudev to go to back to our home. That's why because we are familiar of this and we are practicing this, we are struggling for this, to go over home. We are actually termed as homeless people. They are not homeless people. We all who are here under guidance of Srila Gurudev and Acharyas, who are doing sadhan, they are homeless people. We are actually homeless. So we have to go over home, back to God, back to Krishna, Srila Prabhupada used to say. Ka Pantha, what is the safest path? What is the safest path? No highway is safest in the world. Maha Janoji Gata Sapantha, that path which is uh, instructed by our Mahajans, that path is the most safest path. But to be more specific, that path also leads us to Varnashram Dharma. That path also leads us to follow the Dharma. But to get more specific in Rupa Nuga line, that path which is not going to Vaikuntha, Api Taktva Lakshmi Pati Ratim. Sri Raghunath Das Goswami said, even if Vakunt Pati Narayan wants to pull me, come, I don't want to go there. What is our path? Very specific. Our path is Shirupa Manjari Pada Sai Mora Sampada. That's only safest path because in all other paths there is a danger. There's a danger to get attraction to other, other pastimes of Ram, Narayan and all. But not to get there. Sri Raghunath Das Goswami is giving details to this. Don't get attracted there. Api Taktva. There is going to be one stage when one has to even give up, give up the attraction to the lotus feet of Narayan who is the, cons uh, who is the consort of the goddess of fortune. Huh? So not follow that. Our only goal is, our safest path is what? Das says to mam rasastu rasastu satyam. Only to become the maid servant of Sri Radharani. That is more specific here in Kamme 1. We have to follow this under guidance of our Srila Gurudev. Mm -hmm. Gaur Premanande yeah. Hari Hari Gaur. Yeah. 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 Yeah.